don't. <laughs> Just gonna burn him down. That's all we gotta do. Hey, what is going on, Sockjar? Welcome back to yet another video. And yes, Metamancer is back. The intro is back. Everything is back. But instead of the, the usual stuff that we kind of did in the past, like A to Z, where I felt kind of like boxed into playing champions and I had to make up builds for the champions, I didn't really want to play all that much. We're going to be doing a little bit of a more community uh, focused one, wherein the top comment of each Metamancer video, the suggestion is going to be what we play. I am allowing myself to have like a veto option if it just simply does not work. For instance, if you're like, ah, you must play full AP Yasuo, and obviously Yasuo has like no AP scaling, I I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the next comment, the next co top comment instead. So I I'm I'm reserving my right to do that. But yeah, we're playing AP Mundo today. We're gonna be going for as much spell penetration as possible. I know Mundo doesn't have that much uh, AP scaling to begin with. He's only actually got 10% on his uh, his W. However, you know we can get we can get penetration and it can hit kind of hard. We're against Shogas, so it should actually be like if we get enough penetration, we should be doing uh, okay damage. I am like missing so many of these things, but yeah, we're back. A little bit of a rough start here. The laning phase is always a little bit bizarre, but we are back with Mayhem Answer. And uh, a lot of you guys possibly wondering where the next why he is. Should probably give a quick update on this video if for people that like are hardcore viewers and watch all the videos. Uh, I was doing one on Kaisa and I ended up completely scrapping the video. I'm sorry. I just didn't feel like it was like all that great. It wasn't like up to standards. I got like I was getting a lot of like writing writing block on it, I suppose you could say. And I felt like I had to like force it out pretty hard towards the end and it was just yeah I don't know if anybody you know if anybody in this uh, in the community is like a songwriter or like uh, does creative writing or you know anything like that you probably understand what I, what I mean like you end up having a lot of things end up on the cutting room floor even even entire projects that end up just not coming to fruition however I'm gonna like you know retry gonna pick myself up and uh, try out another another champion. Not sure what champion is going to be just yet, but still, maybe one that's like a little bit more up my alleyway in terms of um, making uh, making some content on it. I'm kind of I don't know if I'm struggling really. I don't think I'm struggling too hard here. We've got Aurelia coming in, which is fantastic. He's probably going to try and go for the rupture here as well. He's dead. Nice. Thank you very much, Aurelia. Didn't even have to really do anything there. I mean, I got him incredibly low, so I guess that helps. But yeah, so we got a chance to back here as well. I was kind of tempted, like, whether or not to go for, uh, the, the, the Sunfire Cape. They have got a pretty heavy AD team, but I think, you know what, I'm just gonna go balls deep. I'm gonna go for the Haunting guys first. We're gonna man mode it this time. I did a test drive last game, and we did, a uh, Sunfire Cape first, because it's a really heavily AD scaling composition. But, uh, I think, yeah, we're just gonna go for this, get a bit of health, get a bit of that. Couple of those, and we should be good to go. Let's teleport back to tower. I'm actually gonna get a third health bot just... For good luck. Wait, is that Shivanamid? It is Shivanamid. Which is a little bit bizarre. But it might work. I don't know. But I'm thinking like this might be a good character, like a good build. Because they have Trundle on the enemy team, right? Uh, I'm obviously like Mundo. So he's going to probably drop his ulti on me. However, I don't have any resistances. So it hopefully it might be a waste. It might be a complete waste of his, uh, his uh, ulti if he decides to put it on me. Which, it would be great if we could waste an ulti by uh, baiting people into thinking that I'm actually tanky when I'm actually incredibly squishy. That would be fantastic, man. <laughs> so after the uh, Leandri's Torment, I'm toying with the idea of a Rally's Crystal Scepter. And I know you're probably like, ah, you've got the, you've already got the cue for the slow. I'm kind of looking for that massive AoE slow. So if we, because if we've got Leandri's Torment and we've got a Rally's Crystal Scepter, not only is it going to give us like a little bit more beefiness, a little bit more like... Uh, health to start tanking with and like actually get some more of our, our ultimate but it's going to be making the Leandri's Torment do double damage and I know our W our, our Q obviously does that too but uh, we can't do it in an AoE which is kind of uh, unfortunate I'm going to flash here for this to be honest we might be able to bait him out a little bit here I've still got plenty of health there's, there's uh, Aurelia coming in it's going to be another kill potentially there we go. Nice. Good job. I'm going to hit him with the... the actually, I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to hit him with the Mapengu. There we go. 
I'm getting, I'm getting like, I'm actually getting camps. Woo! I mean, it's kind of free kills because Cho is really, really low half the time. But still, I never get camped, so I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Let's pick up the hunting guys. Let's pick up the boots to speed. I'm going to grab myself a control ward as well instead of grabbing myself another pot. So we're going to head back to lane, drop that into the bush, and let's see what we can get here. Uh, I haven't got TP up for a while. I, I'm going to say I don't need the health pot because we've already got ourselves uh, our OE back up, so we should be fine. But... I feel like I might end up eating those words at some point, so I'm not really fully sure. Alright, our uh, support Ziggs has got like three kills. <laughs> Alright then, he's got three kills. That's what you want to see from a support Ziggs. You don't really want to see anything else. If you see anything else, he's probably 0-3. Let's dodge that. I still got, I guess I still got really heavily slowed there. Uh, it really is super duper squishy. Okay, well, maybe I can help or maybe she's going to die. It's hard to say at this point. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm just gonna burn him down. <laughs> just gonna burn him down. That's all we gotta do. I took so much HP. I was just running into minions, running into a wall of minions, trying to get to pick that up. There is not the most amount in the world I can do to help if he gets hit with ruptures, though. Okay. That's good. Okay, well, I'm also dead. Uh, I'm just gonna say as well. Even if the build goes terribly. I'm still gonna- I'm, I, I don't- I don't care. This is the whole point of it. You guys are gonna trap- you're gonna- you're possibly gonna put me through hell. So, even if I go like 1-2-2, two, two, <clears throat> as I am currently, right now. Mm -hmm. Um, my test run game, I think I went 1-6-10, right? So, it's not the most ideal thing in the world, especially against a monster like Cho'Gath, who just doesn't give the singlest care in the world about anything that I'm outputting, damage-wise. I'm still- I mean, I think as long as we have- we have a good time. Oh wait, what is going on here? Did you make a mistake there? Just that? Oh no, I made it. I'm the one that made the mistake. I'm the one that made the mistake here. I see. Actually, did, Ch did Trundle make the mistake? The Tr is Trundle the one that made the mistake? That I'm. I missed that, dude. I'm, ser I'm seriously missing this. I don't know what's going on right now. I'm actually incredibly frightened. Like, what? <laughs> what is actually going on? What is happening in this game? I think I almost killed like two people, but then killed none. I, I almost killed two, but got zero. Okay, I'm burning him pretty hard. I'm burning him pretty hard. He's dead, he's dead. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Help me, help me, help me. Oh my, oh wait, actually I'm gonna kill him, dude. Woo! I actually hit him, I actually got him. The blind cleaver over the wall, dude. I actually nailed him, man. Woo! Okay, well I got zero kills there. I did help. I helped the guys that haven't communicated to me all game and I don't know what they're doing. That's worth it. It's worth it, man. I helped the, the Shivana med. <laughs> is, it, is it AP Shivana med? Is, it is AP Shivana med. Oh, for God's sake. Did I start this, man? I do. I mean, I'm not going to lie, right? I like AP Shivana, but it's like an earth thing, man. It's not a real, it's not a real thing. You know? If you haven't seen my AP Shivana video, it does... The E does a bajillion damage. If you're in your dragon form, it does like, whew, it does like, if you, if you're even like slightly, not even fed, just like a little bit, you can do like 70% of someone's HP with like the, uh, with like the, the, the dragon breath thing. It's not fun to play against. I'll tell you that for sure. But it's certainly like not something you do in a normal game because it's just like the cooldowns are way too heavy. You need that 80% cooldown if you actually want to do anything. Uh, I feel like I'm about to get KS'd here. Like, 100%. No, I'm not. I, I didn't get KS'd. Fantastic. Awesome stuff there. Right, so we, got, we got like 3k. We need to back. We're going to get ourselves uh, Sorcerer's Boots. We're going to pick ourselves up as well. Uh, we're going to go for the Crystal Scepter, man. We're just going to go for it. We need a little bit of tankiness here. So we're going to pop that in. Uh, we're almost finished, actually. We almost got like the Boots and the Crystal Scepter on, our, for, on that back there. It, it, it's looking good. Look at things looking good. Alright, I'm gonna actually- I'm gonna TP on this. Ooh. Oh! Oh! See, like, look at the- look at the- the- the damage! That, like, just went out- oh, okay, I'm actually- I'm- I'm- I'm not dead, but I'm very close to dead. Okay. 
just going to continue throwing cleavers out here. Seeing what we find. It does, it does okay damage, in all honesty, dude. Oh, nailed him. He's going to... Oh, the burn, the burn, the burn. I'm going for this. I'm, I'm going for this boy. And I'm going to finish this boy off too. I don't think I'm going to get it. I walked into it. No. Okay. Okay, they're coming in on us. They're a little bit scary. Oh, my, my cleavers are actually hitting kind of hard though, to be fair. But I'm also getting clapped pretty hard, to be fair. Man, she does a lot of damage. Woo! Because I've got no armor, man. She just like melts through me really, really nastily. Woo! That is like a, that's like a, that's like a dream for Tristana, to be fair, dude. That's like the Tristana dream. Somebody having no armor and you just having all that attack speed to just like mow through them. I gotta be careful with Tristana. I definitely need to be careful with Tristana. Alright, I gotta go in on this. They're trying to take Baron. They haven't got Smite, though. They still got it! Okay. Do we get it? No, they got it. As if my items are getting pinged by an AP Shivana mid, who's pre-made with an AP Lucian bottom with a Zig support, who's... Wow. I'm not fully sure this game is actually going to be won, to be honest. Tristana's kind of kicking into high gear. She's got, like, 200 CS. Uh, and her bot lane has been splitting it. Lucian's AP. Uh, we've literally got like a full AP team for some reason, except for Aurelia, which is a little bit confusing. Um, but that being said, I am also playing this character, and like at I, at that point, I kind of can't really blame anyone. Like, I can't really be like, "Oh, look at these guys with their weird <laughs> builds. Look at these guys, man. Look at look at that build, dude. What is this? What is this build? Oh, terrible. No, because I'm playing AP Mundo. That's just not how this works. This is absolutely." Not how this works. That would be the most hypocritical thing I think I could ever do in my life. So I'm just gonna, just gonna push through, push through with it, push through. I might die here. I'm hoping Leandris pulls out for me, pulls through. He's absolutely dead. Nice, 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 nice. We can't give up. That is not in our... That's just not how we operate right now. We're not giving up. Okay, he's like here. Nice. AP Lucian pulling through. Oh, I'm so dead, dude. Ziggs is in some deep trouble here. No, he's gonna... He's deaf. Oh, he might actually... He got it! Yeah, there we go, buddy. There we go. There we go. Cho'Gath doesn't care about anything that's happening right now. Oh, my sweet God. He has got a lot of HP. He got the Metallicize off there. Uh... Oh, we actually got it. We actually got it as well. Nice. I'm dead, but does it matter? We got Baron. Maybe if we had, like, any AP damage whatsoever, like, legitimately, like, apart from Aurelia, there's, like, really nothing, like, going for us. We do have AP Lucian, AP Mundo, Zeg's AP Bot, and AP Shivana. I don't know these people, by the way. I just want to say that, like, right now. This is a normal game. Never met them in my life. These are just people that happen to be on the same wavelength as me, apparently. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's going to be the game. I hope you did enjoy it. It was a bit fun. If you want to have the next Metamancer be something that you've created, a Metamancer you've created, uh, a build that you've made, head it down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. The top voted comment, regardless of what it is, will be picked unless it is actually genuinely like AP Yasuo. In which case, no. But anyway, guys, take care. Have a good one. I'll see you later. Goodbye.